Should we send some people on vacation so we have like a full compliment? I could try some of these other events. Convince the businessman. Help a mayor hold talks to the factory owner. Now, uh, you know what? I'm going to... Send Clint, Alta, and Jerry to rest. Everyone deserves a vacation because we've done so well this month. And then uh, we'll have a, like a, a, a fairly clean slate for the next month. Next month is a very important. It's very important for your political career. Are you sure you've made all the necessary preparations and are ready to move? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I also wanted to do this lobby. So that we can get an even larger ratings bump. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Look at that! Look at that ratings! Look, the cash is good too. We're doing great. People are de-stressed. November 2021, we're coming up to the end of the year. Catching up to uh, current time in the real world. Or wait, is that... Hold on, is it was it 2020 or 2021? I think we're in 2021 in the game, right? Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I'm really bad at keeping track of time. I just read it, but... We're up to 7.7 .7 million. Yeah, 2021, okay. And another 150,000? Uh, Will got plus 0.8. Space Forces General, thanks for helping us out, Mr. President. Will wasted no time fighting the rat. It turned out a female employee was sexting someone named Vasily, and the nudes she sent had classified drawings of Venus Z in the background. <laughs> or Z. I'll tell you what, this is not simply treason, it's straight up lunacy. The employee will be fired and blacklisted, of course, and a prison sentence is not out of the question for her. Oh, by the way, the launch was an event to die for. Comments of the video say the missile glimmering in the sun symbolized all the great successes of your administration. Damn right. Um, I think we'll skip it for this week. I guess they said Ollie and Conrad and it worked out, right? But Conrad's our only, like, physical threat person. We need to keep him around. It's nice to do this just to pay off our payroll, but are they even paying for the people I'm sending? You know what I'm saying? We'll skip it this week. Uh, Robert Pita, Mayor of Hildy. Mr. President, I'm sure your alcohol order is a progressive measure. It's a shame not everybody appreciated your lawmaking initiative. Sands even wrote you, wrote you seek to turn the American public into drunkards because smash people are easy to control. I don't remember what this was. Uh oh. <laughs> I knew this guy was going to turn out to be bad news. Sir, it turns out there was an underground factory in Herbert. Herbert Rumpelstilts <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin's basement. Local gang set up a counterfeit money printing operation and used the fake banknotes to pay for their drug and weapon shipments. The man was known as Magnificent Herbert among the criminal circles. I'm sorry for getting you involved, but people are now spreading rumors you are in on the act. Ah! <laughs> Sir, the mural we did on the Mexican wall truly is a masterpiece. A kilometers long chain of linked hands along the border. Bummer we didn't realize it would only be visible from the US side. <laughs> Mexicans have started crossing the border legally in droves to revel in its magnificence. The press has already dubbed our well-intended campaign the worst stunt of the year. How did I know that was gonna happen? Hey, but point, plus point three. Uh, Mr. President, ever since you forbade marketing those jugs of soda as kid size, a flood of letters from grateful parents won't stop. Now they won't have to go melee won't have to go melee with their children over soda. And we're also going to see a drop in diabetes cases in younger age groups. Okay. 
Linat Sung, Copyright Caucus. Mr. President, we used the projector to set up a magnificent show. The White House melting like an iceberg in the warm waters of the ocean. The screams of dying polar bears erupted from the speakers to the soul-crushing accompaniment of breaking ice. Aesthetic Nuance magazine called the performance the saddest and most beautiful thing humanity had ever come up with. Jerry wants a raise. Okay, for now. Uh, thank you. Always knew I uh, picked the right team. I might need to dump him. Okay, we're up to 9%. I could sign it now or just wait till I need it. What's the risk of postponing it, right? Joanna says, take over in Russia, power seized by the former president's comrade. Could this spell a thaw in relations between Russia and the United States? Berta Glover writes, Lecturers from across the country are vying for the right to present lectures at Golden Ratio University. The Board of Trustees says the only people actively working in their fields will be invited to lecture there. Tony says, everything will be fine, friends. The Senate vote will be in our favor. Trust me. We're about to find out. Samantha Dickinson's, Dear colleagues, my fellow Americans, we are assembled today to fulfill the sacred duty of the Senate to conduct the trial of the president. A vote will be held at the conclusion of the debate. In order for the president to be removed from office, two thirds of the Senate, 67 out of 100 must vote in favor. I shall now exercise my right to speak on the question on the agenda. I believe that the president is innocent and should be acquitted by the Senate. The so-called evidence that has been brought before us and all of America, this evidence is worthless. The president's accusers have repeatedly provided conflicting testimony and false documents. Clearly, those who brought this matter before us today only did so in an attempt to smear the president and with him our beloved American democracy. We cannot allow such lawlessness to prevail. I consider it my sworn duty to prevent the removal of the president. Personal vendettas must not be allowed to damage the reputation of the US political system in the eyes of our citizens or abroad. I call for a vote against Mr. President's removal from office so that we may turn this shameful page in the history of America as quickly as possible. Pretty good. My dear colleagues, the vote on the charges against the president has concluded. The removal of the president was supported by 47 senators, 52 voted against, one abstained. As a result of the Senate trial, the president has been found not guilty. He shall continue to serve out his term as president of the United States. I hereby adjourn this meeting. Thank you. Beautiful! Another ratings book. Justice has been served and the president remains in office. The establishment is furious, but there's nothing they can do. Democracy is still alive in America. Ellie says, honey, this session of the Senate will go down in history. You are acquitted by a majority vote. No matter how hard Mr. fought, he couldn't break us. We'll remain in the White House and we'll keep working on that amendment. I told you we could do it. We were right to listen to Noah. I can't imagine what we would have done without him. Alan Rickles. Sir, today my stream will be covering you and the latest events around you again. I want to share with my fellow, uh, uh, with my followers how Congress justified an honest pol politician and a worthy president. American democracy withstands again. Buddy, Antonio's back. Congratulations, that was one tough year. When I was a kid, the teachers always threatened to make me repeat a year, and they were just as terrifying as the old hags who run the Senate. But at least had the conscience to acquit an innocent man. I brought you a present, a crazy ad from the Darknet. Some anonymous guy promising that he'll kill anyone for the right price. Anyone but three people, the Pope, the rapper Lil Doc, and you. 
Too bad my name isn't on the list. I've stepped on lots of toes, and a lot of those toes aren't going to be too happy uh, I'm here with you in the White House. Who knows what might pop into their heads one day. We should hire this guy, buddy. I know you. You wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone order someone's death. But the establishment has eyes everywhere. They wouldn't think twice about paying a killer to whack a good old Tony. That's a regular Tuesday for them. Jacobo. Jacobo? Jacobo? Jacobo. I'm going with Jacobo. It's like a pro. Hey, buddy, you are close to a historical record. 80% is no joke. Your haters are likely to be those loser establishment communities and their families. But watch your back now. One minor mistake and those losers will strike back. Each step you take will be examined under a microscope. Each fault will be considered a fatal flaw. Get ready for even larger prejudice than before. It will be a bumpy ride to 90%. For success and Humbert Tunce's secret. This is big, guys. This is real big. A mill. Professional hitman from Eastern Europe, both secretive and cunning, he is credited with hundreds of contract assassinations. No one knows for sure who exactly Jacobo. Wait, what did I decide on? Jacobo or Jacobo? Jacobo, I think. Hurak killed. That's why he is so respected. Oh, a million to, to higher than uh, 250 per month. I don't need him yet. Okay, everyone's back. This is great. We're doing an awesome job. For success. Congratulations, darling. The first year of your reign has come to an end. How are you, buddy? How are you, buddy? How are you, buddy? Tony's a little bit drunk, okay? I feel great. It's great to be president. Well, there's no time for fun right now. We'll have to focus on work. Buddy, don't be mad at Ellie that Ellie is nagging again already. I'm used to it. The important thing is that we're now one step closer to passing the amendment. Take it down, he's established. <laughs> Tony, don't get too excited. The amendment is still a long way off. Uh, is there any movement in Congress? A group of congressmen have agreed to submit the amendment, but it isn't up to us how they vote. As of now, nearly two thirds of Congress is ready to support our amendment. You can thank party discipline for that and Adam Garrison personally. But don't let yourself think we've almost made it. Every inch from here is going to be a fight. We're six people short of two thirds we need in the House of Representatives. And without them, we can't get the amendment through. How can we change the minds of six congressmen? Congressmen are rich, so they're expensive to bribe, but many require certain services that only the president can provide. <laughs> I'm an expert on services. This past year, I've made a lot of friends in Washington. I'm like a fish to water with these political games they play here. So keep your phone on. Won't be long now. A congressman will be calling, dreaming of nestling under your wing. Wonderful. So while Tony talks his Aspen Hill friends into taking our side, I'll warm up some old connections of my own, and I'm sure we'll find some new allies. <laughs> Why are you so angry today, Ellie? Are you afraid I'll chase down more congressmen than you? Tony, please stop this childishness. While recording these new congressmen, don't we risk the others changing their minds? Yeah. We should be all right if we don't take too long, though there's already a few in Congress working against us. Even as we speak, Weister is doing his best to pry away our allies. We don't want to give him extra time to poach any of them, so please act quickly. As they say in the Congress textbook, competition is the key to growth. <laughs> Ellie, what if we had a little competition? Whoever convinces more congressmen to support us wins. And what does the winner get? If I win, you've got to stop playing games behind the scenes and start doing things out in the open. And as far as my defeat, that's out of the question. So that's how it is. Uh, good. And if I win, you can stop whining about the ends not justifying the means and start doing what you're told. Agreed? Of course I agree. I know I won't lose. Hey, buddy. 
Who would you bet on? Ellie? That's right, you don't, Tony. Thanks for your support, honey. All right, you two lovebirds keep on chirping. I've got some calls to make. I can't wait to see Ellie's face when she realizes I've got six candidates and she's got none. I'll see you later. Well, you know, Tony did pretty well last month, so who knows? Honey, don't stall for time. We don't have any to spare. The sooner we can get the amendment before Congress, the sooner we get your immunity. Then let's do it. Let's do it, darling. We'll take Congress by focusing on the undecided. The midterms are in a year, and some of our legislators are in jeopardy of losing their seats. They'll go to great lengths to remain in their elite little club. According to my calculations, there are nine seats in the House of Representatives that we can realistically fight for. If we could take at least six of them, we'll get enough votes for the amendment. I don't know how long Tony will be fooling around, but I expect my initial consultations will take around three months. Meanwhile, you'll just have to wait. Okay, so are you ready to battle for Congress? Yeah, sure. All right, then let's do it. She's a lot more excited than us, apparently. Honey, if you can't get at least six congressional candidates on our side, the whole amendment plan fails. Remember, my freedom and your life depends on what you do next. The goals tab includes your search for candidates. You'll accomplish four main goals. Accomplish uh, your main goal for the year if six candidates move to your side. If you miss out on more than three candidates, the establishment will win and you'll end up in prison. Uh, that's stressful. <laughs> Get the sword of two thirds of the House of Representatives. Reunite a family, build your social network. Buddy, I haven't sniffed anything white and fluffy for a week. I have cleansed my body and mind. I get enough sleep, I eat properly, I read books. Hey, if every American had the steely will of your vice president, they all would have quit a long time ago. So let's help them out. Let's get them on the right path. First of all, let's cut back on product availability. If the DC junkies are stuck with the Staba for over a month, a lot of them will follow my lead and quit. <laughs> to accomplish this, we'll have to cut off the Mexican supply. The cartels are crazy there, and President Escudero isn't doing a damn thing to stop them. Maybe you can talk to him about it at the next meeting. Unseen neighbor. Oh, we're gradually expanding our view. Now the whole world. First it was just DC and then America and, and Canada. Now the whole world. Most, well, the whole world, yeah. Actually, America kind of twice. <laughs> Honey, I sorted out our domestic problems, but we should keep pushing. It's time we look for allies abroad. We'll need them soon. Plus, it'll be good for you to get out and see the world. Just keep in mind that you can use Air Force One to visit world leaders as much as you want. But your team can't. We'll have to figure out a way for your our subordinates to move between countries without attracting too much attention from the security services, either foreign or domestic. Okay. So we've got two events that we have to do uh, that we're running out of time for. Is it a neighbor you haven't gotten to know yet? Pick the people who will build your own internet platform. Let's do that first. Bill Banya. Sir, the more I watch Arkville Mayor Alan Rickles, the more I'm convinced that Politics Day is done on social media. Some channel on a streaming platform. That's a little small for a president. So I thought we should create our own social network. First, we'll get all your supporters and like-minded people in one place. And then they'll start bringing their friends there. And if we set up the right news filters and frequency, I think you can see uh, for yourself what a powerful tool for influencing public opinion we can get. Of course, only reliable people should be trusted with this kind of work. I'm just the mastermind. Without developers and experts who understand trends and know how public opinion is shaped with social networks, we will get, a, at best, a miserable copy. Okay, so we need technical people. So Will 
Okay, we need people that understand how to influence others. So Joe. Do we want Ollie also? Sasha, maybe? Worldwide Elite Connections. Let's get Tan in on that for the connections. We'll see how that goes. Unseen Neighbor. Valentin Diaz Escudero, Mr. President. Wait, is that my Russian accent again? Mr. President, what a rare honor. <laughs> We're neighbors, but we hardly see each other at all. We just bark at each other over the fence like a couple of hungry Zolos. Where are Zolos? I'm sorry, President faced sour relations between our countries. Yeah. Things will be different now. I'm so happy you finally took the time to visit our wonderful land. Picking up on some subtle sarcasm. Uh, great, I'm happy to be here too. Mexico is a beautiful country. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Oh, I wasn't laughing either, just coughing. At my age, I should be taking better care of myself. That's what the doctors say. I'm happy it's you here in front of me and not your predecessor. President Face was the worst US president in my lifetime, deporting Mexicans by the tens of thousands. You only knew how this affected the crime in our country. Wait. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Your cartels are getting out of hand. You shouldn't call them mine. They are ours, President. The truth is, the youth of Mexico get spoiled in America and forget their roots. All they can do there is cook and sell meth. And when they come back home, they take over all the local gangs. The situation has become out of control. They're Mexican citizens. We just sent them back home. Many have lived longer in the U.S. than in Mexico, and they've picked up some bad habits over the fence, too. All I'm saying is that it's not easy to be a good person when your next-door neighbor is the biggest drug consumer and gun merchant on the planet. The more the money flows, the more the demand for the product grows. The cartels are too well-armed and too well-connected to the police and the government. Right now, they're at war with each other, but most of the time, they prosper. We do what we can, but we've got other problems besides the cartels. So how do you fight uh, trafficking? You mean, how should we? I have no idea. Strengthen the border, maybe, or teach the young to love their country and respect their bodies? Let's forget all the petty disagreements. Who threw the garbage over the fence? Who stole the land? Let's focus on everything that we are doing together in the spirit of international cooperation. I can offer you, I can't offer you any more than that, and you can't offer me more either, except perhaps to give Mexico a quarter trillion dollars for damages. But such requests are not in the spirit of good neighbors. Uh, if we solve our problems without you, you might not like how we do it. Mr. President, is it simply impossible for me to help you? But thank you. Oh, it is simply impossible for me to help you. But thank you for visiting, nevertheless. It was very nice to me. I think we fucked this up. <laughs> oh, man. Did we just get turned to hell like that? He's all acting like everything's our fault. Very convenient position for him to be in. We'll just have to do everything ourselves, I guess. Escudero said that the cartels are strong only when they're united. And the guy holding all the leashes is the trafficker who just got back from the U.S. Hey man, I bet I know exactly who that is and how we can get to him. Long Leg Pedro is running the business in Mexico now. Back when I was in the FBI, he was a small time DC dealer. But even back then, he showed promise. But faced suddenly and without warning deported thousands of illegals, almost all of Pedro's men returned home. Pedro is an American citizen, but he went with them anyway. Now he's assembled the worst gang we've ever seen. Uh, gang we've seen since Guzman. Don't worry, I've got the perfect plan. 
how we can cut off the supply from Mexico and keep America off drugs. Okay. Limit the drug traffic. Chief, will you let me come up with a password for your work computer, please? Okay. Buddy, my time at the bureau taught me that you get your diplomatic passports done. <laughs> okay, I think I'm already regretting that decision. <laughs> Done before you send your representatives undercover. I have an acquaintance near the airport in Atlanta who often entertains me when I visit Georgia. She'll take care of you. Uh, then you can send our people to Israel or Germany or any place, and I guarantee no intelligence service will ever find them. Promote the escort service. Okay. Julian Giaud, Secretary of State. Election night in Russia ended with a palace coup. Prime Minister Tibor Pitlev, to support of the special services, seized the residence of President Dmitry Kruzdev, who has fled the country. Uh, Kruzdev has been charged in absentia with forcible retention of power. Do you wish to publicly support acting President Pitlev? No. Antonio's back. Our search for congressional candidates is going great, buddy. 13 of the 15 people I interviewed turned us down. <laughs> okay. But the other two are taking some time to mull it over. Based on my performance in the New York dating scene, I'd say our recruiting campaign success rate is pretty awesome. I got shut down by 13 of 15 chicks I hit on, and the other two gave me a big old smack in the face. My jaw's still aching from it. Tell Ellie to take our bet more seriously. I'm a pro after all. When I recruit somebody, he doesn't even have a clue what I want from him. Okay, searching for candidates, Illinois. Jesus. Ellie, I've made some real progress searching for congressional candidates, hon. I've already found a few people and started some preliminary consultations. I can pretty much guarantee we'll be signing contracts in a month or two. Pardon me. It seems like Tony is doing, a pre is doing pretty well, too. He's been walking around with a self-satisfied grin plastered on his face. And when he sees me, he just winks and smiles mis mysteriously. Could he really be doing something useful for a change? Florida. So how do I do those? I guess eventually they're just going to pop over to this side. Where do I even start, everybody? Team on missions abroad. Oh, like, uh, to deal with this. Okay, let's deal with these, the ones that I actually have to do. Tony is obsessed with a terrorist plot against America. 